Hello, and welcome to a new day of Stories at Soar Week at Rev Templar. I'm the Magic Box Lady, here with the Magic Box family. Now we know you're all good writers. We also know that most good writers are good readers. And good readers know their fairy tales. But in our first story today, we're going to get a fresh look at some classic characters in the story called Fairy Tales Behind the Scenes. All right, fairy tale behind the scenes, take one, and action. Hi there. Cut. No, don't say hi there. The narrator says that. Oh, whatever. Fairy tale behind the scenes, take two, and action. Hi there. And welcome to Fairy Tales Behind the Scenes, where you get a sneak peek at what your favorite princesses are actually thinking. Here's Tiana. And go in for the kiss. Hold up. I'm supposed to kiss a frog? It's just cardboard, Tiana. Out of every other animal in the entire animal kingdom, we choose a frog. Really? Uh, no, no, that's it. We're done here. That's it. I'm over this. Get, get that out of my face. Out of my face. Let's try Cinderella. <clears throat> Kissing a frog, that's one thing, but at least the logic of her story actually makes sense. Forget your shoe, just like the first time. <laughs> I don't tell a lot of people this, but um, <clears throat> I actually have one large foot and one small foot. Uh, nobody in this village has the same size shoes as me. <laughs> this whole story doesn't make sense. Meet Mulan. Well, at least Cinderella doesn't have weapons with her at all times. Good night, Mushu. Oh! Ow! Oh, nothing like a nice shower after a long day. Somebody a black eye. Next. And now, Ariel. At least none of them had to hold their breath through their entire movie. Listen, can we uh, get back to the interview, please? Nobody appreciates my singing. I would get out of this chair, but I don't have legs. Uh huh. I'm stuck here okay. with you. Sorry. <laughs> this interview. I, I understand. Oh my God. All right. <laughs> Moving on. And they all tried really, really hard to make the best of their story and live happily ever after. This has been Fairy Tales Behind the Scenes. Be <laughs> quiet! Cut! Cut, cut, cut! That's it! I'm done! I'm leaving! I'm out of here! Goodbye! The end. Ah, <sighs> what she said. <laughs> that was hilarious. You know, that one has me wondering what else happens behind the scenes. I have a question. Okay, curiosity box. It's time for another question with... Curiosity Box! Today's question comes from... Molly in Mrs. Tinsley's class, who asks, Do dogs have more body parts than humans? I don't know. Let's find out. Molly in Miss Tinsley's class wonders, Do dogs have more body parts than humans? Who has more body parts, dogs or humans? Today's contestants are a dog and a human. According to my chart, you all have the same body parts, except dogs don't have an appendix. 
But wait, dogs have a cecum, which is closely related, so we're still tied. Humans have around 10,000 taste buds, but dogs only have about 2,000. But wait, humans have 206 bones, but dogs have 320. That's because dogs have tails and humans don't. <laughs> And so today's Who Has More Body Parts winner is... Dawn! Good questions sure help us learn. Thanks for that one, Molly. Now, let's keep the fun going in a story called Rats. <laughs> Rat War. for Minecraft news. Construct a house to protect you from mobs. How to do a crit. First, grab a sword or an axe, then jump and hit. How to mine. First, find a hole and hit it with your pickaxe. Farm by water to make plants grow faster. Redstone will give you electricity. Thanks for that, Austin. The baby box loves learning. <laughs> last story today, we're going to meet a character who loves following his heart in the story called The Dog Who Thought He Was a Bull. The Dog Who Thought He Was a Bull. Once upon a time, there was a dog who thought he was a bull. Yeah, pow! <laughs> His mom called him a bull, but she knew he was a dog. Morning, my little bull. Time for breakfast. Woof, woof. Time went by fast. And in the blink of an eye, he was 18. He grew up to be a big, big dog. He 
was taller than his mom. Oh, boo! I have something for you! <gasps> thank you, Mom! Thank you, thank you, thank you! <laughs> and stronger. Welcome to the ball ring, folks! Today, things are going to look a little different. We have our champion matador. Fighting Bull! The dog? This might be a short evening. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. And he won the bullfight. Who wins the fight? And takes the prize. Let's eat it for bull! That's my boy! The end. I loved how supportive that mom was helping her son achieve his goals. You know, I loved this whole episode. What did you think? Please share your thoughts using the What Did You Think link. Then we can meet back here tomorrow, okay? Until then, keep writing and using your imagination.